Welcome to project 49 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating this custom range by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So now if I just click on that, so I can go to descending order and I can also go to the ascending order right here. Okay. So which means like I can just uh, decrease or increase. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. First of all, let me just create a folder, give a name of like 050 and it will be now equals to custom uh, range range slider we are going to be creating three files index.html then let's just create a style.css and finally let's just create our app.js for javascript make it a bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit clearly so now let's just write our doc type and here let me just write a custom range uh, and then slider now let's just link it with or css and now let's, let me just link it with our JavaScript as well. Now let's just collapse our sidebar, not sidebar, but our metadata, open with a live server. So now we are good to go. So for HTML side, we are not going to be writing a lot of HTML, but now we are going to be just writing like a div with a class of range container. Inside this range container, we would have our input with the ID of range. And also min will be equals to zero. And also max will be 100. Okay, so that's that. Now the next thing which you have to do is to write a span with the ID of range content. And now here we just have to put like 50 in there, save it. And this is how it looks like right now, okay? So now let's jump into our CSS and then style it a bit. All right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll select everything. And I'll just write a margin of zero, padding of zero, box sizing will be border box, okay? Now let me get this body and then just change the background to crimson. And you can choose whichever kind of color you like and then font family will be sans serif you are also free to choose whichever kind of font family you like now let me just write a display of flex flex uh, direction will be column and then we have align atoms will be center justify content will be center overflow will be uh overflow will be hidden and now let me just get or hide and now let's just put 100 vh to it so everything is center and this is how it looks like right here so now the next thing which you have to do is to get or range not this one but range container right here with the class of range container inside there we are going to be just providing a position of relative to it save it and nothing's going to happen because we just brought a position of a relative to it so now let's just get our input with a type of text so we are going to be just getting like input with a type and it will be equals to range uh, not text but it will be equals to range and now change this text to range save it and also save this one and let me just give them a width of like 300 pixel and also the margin will be 18 uh pixel and from top and bottom and left and right will have zero pixel then we have an outline of none and then we have to just write like our oh, webkit f appearances uh and it will be now equals to none right here save it and now this is how it looks like right here okay so that's that the next thing which you have to do is to just get orange content right here okay so now let me just get there so i'll just select my range content range dash content inside there we are going to be writing a position of absolute because that above one is position relative where are you this is a position relative so we want this one to be position absolute so this will be inside branch container to be precise so left will be just uh 50 percent and le not left but top will come on top will be all right top will be uh, minus 50 pixel and then we have a transform of translate x and we want them to be minus 50 percent background will be just totally blank and now just a color will be totally white okay and now let's just write a white space of no wrap and padding will be just 10 pixel top and bottom 15 pixel left and right and or border radius of 7 pixel and finally the transition will be fine uh, so you're gonna have to just change the opacity and 0 0.5 second is save it and this is how it looks like and it will be no wrap okay white space no wrap all right so this is how it looks like and now the next thing which you have to do is to get or before the selector now let's just provide a before selector or this uh range content so let me just add this before before in here 
and now let's just add a content of nothing and position will be also absolute then we have a left and it will be now equals to 50 percent top will be 100 percent and now let's just write our transform of translate x and now let me just get like 15 percent not 15 but 50 percent border will be 15 pixel and then solid and now here we just have to add our border color like the first one will be uh zero 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 like totally black then we have a four zeros then we also have these four zeros and finally four zeros save it and now this is how it looks like right here if you refresh it so this is at the middle of this one so this is looking a bit cool so now let's just get our webcast slider thumbnail track so you're going to be just writing our input with a type of range you want to select this range one and here we just have to write like a uh, web can and then slider thumb track now let's just get that background color will be totally black and then the width will be 100 percent the height will be just 10 pixel and cursor will be a pointer and now let's just write a border radius of 2 pixel now you know what yeah i guess that would be fine input and now let's just select with the type of range because we just have one input and now let's just select our web kit with a slider thumb okay so that's that now let's just add our um appearance here so web kit and then appearance and now equals to none and now let's just add a height of 24 pixel and also the width will be 24 pixel as well background color will be just totally black not black but totally white and now let's just add a border radius of 50 percent because we want it to be a perfectly like border around border will be just one pixel solid black and also margin top will be minus seven pixel and cursor will be pointer seven and this is how it looks like right here okay so it's looking a bit yeah i guess we are done with the css so now let's jump right into our javascript and add our interactivity to it all right so now i'm going to go to my javascript file and now here let's just get our range first of all because that's the important thing and now let's just get add or range so this is that class of range right here and now we are getting that inside our javascript file so now the next thing which you have to do is to create or scale function so i'll just write like a scale and will be now equals to uh num first of all the parameter of num then in min uh and then we have an in max comma then we have a out max comma then we have a oh i forgot to include it should be out min and this one should be out max okay so these are the parameters and also let's just add our error right there okay so now let me just return uh of num minus uh in min and also let's just divide that with out max minus out min okay and now let's just wrap them in or brackets right there parenthesis to be precise and now let's just divide that with or in max minus in min okay and also just plus finally out and min seven and this is our scale function first of all let me just add a range uh, add event listener on a range element so now here you're going to be placing our input right here so you want to just um, uh, call this function so now the first thing i would do is i would get my value right here and it will gives us a value like e dot target dot value so this one will be now equal to just a string and now you want to convert that to a number there are two ways we can convert this to number like the first one will be to, to just convert it to number like so and now the second one will be is to just write plus in here so it will now convert it to number okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is to grab our label as well and now here we are going to be just using like e dot target dot next element next element sibling okay so that's that now let me just console log both of them like value duplicate and label save it and now let's just open it and now if we just call that so here you can see it will now first of all it gives us these values which is this uh, number right here and then it will gives us this uh, label right here okay so both of them is fine right now let me just remove that from here the next thing which you have to do is to get or range width so i'm going to just write like range and then width will be fine and now let's just write like get computed style okay so i'll just write like get computed style and here we are going to be just placing like e dot target and now outside from that we are going to be just writing like get property value and now let's just provide a width on there okay and now the next thing which you have to do is to get or label uh label 
with so now let me just write a label with on there now it will be equals to this get computed uh on style and now here we just have to place our label right there and get property value it will be now set to with okay so now if we log both of them or oh, you know we don't have to log them to a console now let me just zoom out a bit so that we can see everything a bit better and now let's just write const num with it will be now equals to this range dot with dot substring sub string and now let's just provide a zero value in there and range uh, with on there and now let's just get our length from there and minus two okay so it will give us a string value now let's just convert this one to a number as well so now let's just write like const num label and it will be now equals to uh, num label width to be precise so num label width and it will be now equals to uh, label and then uh, with dot substring okay and now here we just have to pass zero label um with and now let's get our length and now let's just minus 10 from it and it will also give us a string value so now let's just convert this one to a number and now here we just have to write like const max it will be now equals to e dot target tar get and it will be now equals to max it will give us an um a string so now let's just convert that to number const min will have like e dot target dot min and now let's just convert this one to a number okay so that's them now the next thing which i'm going to do is find a thing which we have to get our left value so i'll just write left and then value times now let's just write our num with here and then divide that with the max here and now let's just um remove this num let me just write a num label with in there and now we'll just divide that by two it's kind of a, a long formula here we just have to pass our scale function and the first parameter will be value then we have a min and we have a max and then we have a 10 and then comma minus 10 right here okay so now let's just add that or label so label will be just equals to style dot left and it will be now equals to this like let me just render our left right here so left pixel and then let's just write our label and then finally we just have to write our inner come on label dot inner html and it will be now equals to value save our file and now if i just uh, scroll down so it will give us like substring is not a function at all right so now let's just check it we have a little something error in line 10 oh i wrote a dot in here it shouldn't have to be a dot it should have to be range with and also this one as well save it and now let's just move our range right here and this is how it works so here you can see if i just move to the top so it will give us a zero value if i move to the end of the scroll bar or range bar so here you can see it will now give us 100 at the middle it will give us where are you it will give us 50 and so on and so forth so this is our cursor not cursor. this is our custom range slider right here all right so this is what i want to show you in this project so now if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys do know about get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now okay so we are working on 050 clear the terminal and now let me just zoom out a bit get status will be this 015 get air everything get commit dash com commit dash m and now let's just add or custom uh range slider okay so push it finally get come on clear push origin main hit enter and it will now push our code into our github repository all right so now let me just refresh that and now let's get or this range uh, slider right here now here you can have access to all of these code right here you can get html code you can get uh, css and javascript code all right so i think that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye